All right, welcome to another Simply Answers Tips and Tricks video. Uh, what we're going to show today is uh, basically how to move your iPhoto library in case it's taking up too much hard drive space, or whether you just want to create a new uh, library, or if you just want to move it off to an external hard drive. So, um, what if you, first thing you need to do is you want to, especially if you're moving the uh, the library, is make sure you have an external hard drive plugged in, like I have here. Um, but you need to find the library first. So, um, what you do is you need to go into Finder. And when you're within Finder, um, you want to find somewhere where uh, your your pictures folder. So right here, I have pictures on the left side. Um, you should be, find it right there. Um, if you don't, you can right click up at the top of the window, and then you can just go under your username, and then there's your pictures folder, and then you see it, there it is, your iPhoto library. So your iPhoto library is kind of a unique folder that has all your photos built into it. And so you basically you need to move this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to open up my external hard drive, just like that. Move you over here to the side. And now what I'm going to do is grab this and move it over, just like that. And my well, my library is very small, so it basically transferred instantly. If you have a very large library, it could take you a long time to be able to get that transferred. So mind that there may be some patient patience involved. Um, so now you have the two libraries, and then if you'd like, you can go ahead and throw this other one away. And then what you do from here is when you go to iPhoto, make sure to hold down the Option key on your keyboard and click iPhoto at the same time. It says, which iPhoto library would you like to use? So basically, you're going to want to go to other library. You're going to want to find your external hard drive, which I have right over here under devices. And there's the iPhoto library. Open. And then that will go ahead and pull from that library from that point on. So, um, Obviously, my, my library is empty. This is just a demonstration, but that's basically how you can move your iPhoto library, delete it, and then tell iPhoto, hey, the library is over here. So that's how you do that. Another quick trick also, if you want to have a secondary library, maybe that's how you like to organize your stuff, same basic trick. Press and hold your Option button on the keyboard. Click on iPhoto. Click Create, uh, create New. Where would you like it? You probably would like it in your pictures folder. Click save. Then it opens up your window with a new iPhoto library. And you see right here there's another iPhoto library just right there. So and then if you want to alternate back and forth from library to library, again I'll close down iPhoto, press and hold my option button, click on iPhoto, and then you see here's the two different iPhoto libraries. Then right here it gives you the location of where they are. And uh, obviously the default one is the one on the computer. So that's the one it'll default to every single time. This is the one that's on the external hard drive. So um, hopefully that helps you out. It should show you a way to organize your photos a little bit differently, especially if you have a ton of them. And then of course it will also help keep your hard drive clean and clear to where you don't have to worry about you know bogging down your hard drives with these new smaller solid state drives on the MacBook Airs and MacBook Pro with Retina Display. So hopefully that tip helps you out. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook, just facebook.com slash simplymac. You can also get us twitter.com slash simplymacstore. Uh, you can email us anytime. A good email would be social at simplymac.com. Uh, or you know you can give us a call or drop into a store anytime you'd like. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, let us know if you have any other questions, and hopefully we see you next time. Thanks.